Season 2 starts now. Now. Season 2 starts now. We are having a shorter stream today. Uh, and then the next episode, we might have a new manager taking over Leipzig. But for now, we don't. So, there's, there's that. But, uh, yeah. Let's just continue on here. It's unmute because... And there's probably going to be no content here, but transfer window will be opening up soon. Got some signings in mind. Got some signings in mind. Big season for Champions League. It's a big conference league season, to be honest. <clears throat> conference league, yeah. Conference league France! for Doran. Do, 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 do. To be fair, Doran just knew his <laughs> level. He knew he had to stick to his level. You, you understand it? If, uh, yeah, it is, if, I, to... if I win European silverware and you don't, the same. It's a bigger achievement. It would be pretty embarrassing. It would be pretty embarrassing. Not gonna lie. For who? For me or for you? If you win it and we don't, if we don't win anything. Mm. In good mood to score eight goals in his first game in, <laughs> in Champions League. In no, nah, dude. Anytime he's against good opposition, he crumbles. Oh, I know. I'm in the Europa League. Good, I'm, like, I'm in. I'm in the Europa. League. Oh, you're in Europa. I'm in Europa. Oh, that's even better. Welcome to the big time, man. That's no, somewhat big time no, for you. Guys. Wait till wait till I get knocked out of group stage and come for you. <laughs> no, I want to be. Yeah, that's exactly what. Oh. Arsenal make $32 million offer for much of Gladbach's Van der Van. Really? Oh, no way. Ladies and gentlemen, they started the stream without me, so I had to do that little intro at the start. But welcome to the start of Season 2 or Episode 10 of this Bayer Leverkusen FM23 uh, career mode. Which I'm just going to skip. With We streamed for about two and a half hours, and most of it was simming or just messing around at the champions, uh, champions transfer window. So... We'll just go quickly over some of the signings and just add a couple uh, little funny moments here and there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm finally up to date. Big news to start off the season is we are not re-signing either hudson Adoy or Pepe Mileta Saar back from loan, uh, as well as a couple players that were out on loan. We have just extended uh, to stay on loan for a little bit longer. Let's also run through the pre-contract players that we have signed. So... We signed a young German attacking midfielder in Damar. I forgot his first name, but we got Damar, who will just be that young attacking mid. He's also German, and we need a couple of new Germans on this team. We then signed a new backup keeper because we will be getting rid of uh, Hederodecki. So we signed Christensen or Christensen from Hertha Berlin, who's a Danish uh, goalkeeper. We then also signed Mohamed El Neni from Arsenal on a free. So these are all free transfers except for Josh Feeney who is a young English centre-back. I think we signed for maybe one to two mil. We signed him from Aston Villa. And then the probably best signing, we free, uh, free signing that we made was getting Kamada, the Japanese attacking midfielder from Frankfurt. So still from a Bundesliga rival club, and we add into the team. So not much complaints there. I'm um, just now I have to figure out who else we want to sign in what positions and just... How the team's really gonna look. Oh, you know, I wanna sign Asignon. Go this for guy! Me. This guy! Yeah? Yeah? Unsellable, mate. 150 mil. You gotta watch it, the effort. Mate, I gotta say, Dorian, that was a smokescreen for the real signing, don't worry. Wonderful first signing. I signed Nico from Barcelona, 21 year old midfielder. Hey, decent player. Yep, you heard that correctly. The first signing we've made is Nico on loan from Barcelona. Now, we are only doing, I'm pretty sure, one more season of this as it is. So, loan moves are probably the best way to go for this transfer window to sign very good players. So, let's just see. Oh, and as you can see here, Leverkusen has been accepted for the offer, but Messi doesn't want to sign for Leverkusen, which makes sense. We also have signed on loan Garang Kual, a young Aussie striker who hopefully can do something in real life, but we'll see how he goes here for us. Uh, but a player I, I have signed, Garang Kual. You signed Garang Kual? I've signed Garang Kual. KFR has been in my chat. KFR's going to love been, that I've one. I've been absolutely... I don't know, man. Another signing we have made is Emmanuel Dennis for... A cheap price, to be fair. I think it was about 5, yeah, 5.5 mil there, it says. The reason why I've signed Emmanuel Dennis is because the formation that I'm playing, for example, because this, it is Mark's formation. If you saw last season, Nathan Ngumu, 
who was this random French person that we've never heard of in our lives. Because he has pace, he absolutely popped off. So getting someone with a good amount of pace in this team is what we needed, and Emmanuel Dennis has that. So it's good to have it for this team. All right, we have signed our next player, none other than Fabio Vieira. Huh. Taken after me. Uh, he, was, he was very interested in leaving. Um, I'm guessing he didn't play much the last season. That being said, he's going to slot perfectly into the central midfield position that I've now opened up with my new formation. And we've made another signing, 18.5 mil for centre-back Morato. Now, the reason why I have signed this player is because I have my own Benfica save that I just play offline. And this guy can score headers and defend really well. So... That's the kind of player I need in this team, as you can see. I'm, like, failing to sign fucking Kingsley Coman and Alfonso Davies, but don't worry about that. Yeah, Morato is going to be a staple in our team. A very, very good signing for me, nonetheless. And as you can see, we've also got two players now out of the club. So, Hederadeki goes to Almeria, and Jonathan Tarr signs for Al Itihad. So... Two experienced players out of the club. Jonathan Tarr might actually be a bit of a bit of a missed signing just because of needing German players for uh, European competitions. But we'll see how we go with that. See if we can get some replacements in. All right. I, forgot how, I don't know how you said anyway. his name before, but I'm Rick Cohen. What's well, man? What's what's well? What's going on? Hope I'm, you're well, my friend. Sign Wijnald or Wijnald. Fine old dear. No Wijnald. I'm gonna call. I want to get to my first game. I don't know. You guys keep you guys keep doing the same thing, mate. You're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, mate. Chase, what's going on? I'm just announcing a blur. I just want, there's just one player I want to sign. Who is it? It's probably like Mustafa Amini or something. Who? Who? Mustafa Amini. Better. And there he is. My new backup goalkeeper, Buffon. Buffon is disgusting. Buffon is disgusting, man. As the backup. That's ridiculous. When I said this was going to be a short episode, I wasn't lying. This video is only eight minutes long. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to say the outro here instead of using Mark's outro because he kind of just talks about his stream. So, we have signed so far. Wynald and Buffon and Grand Quall and Nico. That's who we've signed so far. I, we've also just played our first friendly and we did win, I'm pretty sure. I'm not quite, I'm not 100% certain on that one. But we'll see how it goes into the next uh, episode. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, these videos are not going to be eight minutes long each time. The next one's probably going to be a short one as well. We might, I think we only play one game in the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode. See ya.